Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, it's presentation of our mini project of building construction engineering CE120, and we are having group number 48. Name of the project is making use of tools in actual machinery. Our group members are, as you can see, are Fayazullah, Muhammad Kalim Khan, Suhail Akhtar, and Muhammad Ali Wazir, having registrations number as written. And this project is to be submitted to engineer Arsalan Khan. Uh, first of all, let me have a short introduction to the to uh, project. The project was mainly aimed to provide hand-on practice to students in understanding the practical as well as the technical use of the tools used in a machinery. The topic assigned to us was very interesting and it helped us in understanding the practicality of the tools as well as we studied drawings and how the work was executed on site as per drawing. So for the selection of the site, we opted for two, two sites, which was the Ashraf Yard UET Peshawar and the second was a construction site at Agricultural University. The reason for selection of Ashraf Yard was the construction of the brick machinery of some models were in progress where almost all the tools used in the brick machinery as well as the safety dresses, shoes, uh, helmets and dress etc were all available. In agricultural university it was opted because there was site layout, steel work, form, form work etc were in progress where we worked on studying drawing, demarcations, use of wheelbarrows, installation, fixing of form work and steel cutting and fixing procedures were done and observed over there. So let's begin with our first slide and its machinery tools and its use. The first one is trowel. Trowel is actually a very important and the, uh, one of the basic tools used in machinery. This tool is used to place, spread and level mortars or concrete. Trowel is available in different shapes according to its use. It is also called a hand trowel or a mason's trowel. You, can, you will see the details and its practical use in our video which will be in our next slide. The second number tool is pan. Pan is a metal, maybe sometime plastic, container vessel with a small circumference at the bottom and a larger at the top. It is used to transport materials like mortar, sand, concrete. It is also called a hat pan or a motor pan. In the incoming video, you will see like how pan is used. Here in this video, we are trying to fill the pan with the sand in order to be carried out for other construction purposes. Tool number three we have is the mason square. The mason square is an instrument which is used to either verify or ensure that the two surfaces are at the right angle with each other or not. So it is used by the masons and in the next video you will see how it works. The fourth one is the measuring tape. It is used for measurements in both imperial and metric units available in different lengths. It is used for measurement of different components or units and sections of machinery etc. It is maybe made of linen, cloth, steel or maybe fiberglass etc. Here in this video, as you can see that we are making the use of the measuring tape in order to cut this brick. The fifth tool here we have is a brick hammer. It is a special type of hammer having one flat surface and having a chisel like blade at the other side. It is used for cutting as well as tapping of the bricks. In the next video, you will see that how we were using the brick hammer in order to cut the brick at our desired section. Tool number six we have are threads and pins. Threads and pins are used for the horizontal alignments only and they are used for making of foundation plans. Here in this video you can see that it is only used for the horizontal alignments. The seventh number tool is the spirit level or a bubble tube. It is used to find out both the horizontal as well as the vertical alignments. It is available in different shapes in the market as well as the different colors. And you can easily find them with the masons which are for their usage. Here you can see that one of our colleagues has hold the same tool for finding out the vertical as well as the horizontal alignment. Tool number 8, straight edge or scraper. It is a lightweight construction machinery tool used for removing unwanted material on the surface. It may be made of steel, aluminium or wood. The ninth number tool we are having is the plumb bob. It is a bob along with the thread which is used to check the vertical alignment. When the vertical height is not too much higher than the bubble tube or the spirit level as previously we have discussed is used. If it is too high then the plumb bob has its use over there. Now here you can see we have taken this picture from the construction site and this is the video that we have captured and we have shown here that it, the practical use of the plumb bob at the construction site by the masons.
Tool number 10 here we are having is a float. Float is used to finish the surface of either concrete or mortar. It is made of steel, rubber, plastic or wood etc. Here in the pictures you can see that one of the float is wooden and the other one is the steel float. Here in this picture you can see that one of our colleague Fayazullah is holding a steel float at the Ashraf yard. The next tool here we are having is the hammer and chisel. Hammer is used for blows on chisel in order to cut some sections of the masonry at our desired choice. It is used in stone dressing and cuttings. Hammers are available in different weights while chisels of different shapes and materials are also available as you can see in the picture. You can see here how it is used for cutting. Some more tools. Concrete mixer. It is a machine used to mix the cement, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate and water to make concrete. It is very effective as compared to hand mixing. It is also present in the lab. Wheelbarrow. It is a type of a hand cart used to carry construction materials. In this video here you can see that one of our colleague is carrying the wheelbarrow in order to be filled with the sand so that the sand can be used for the construction purposes. Rebars, cutting, bending and fixing. In this video Two of our colleagues are trying to cut the rebar at a specific point. In the second video, one of our colleague is trying to bend the rebar at a specific point. Some extra videos of formwork installation and fixing as per drawing. Timber or wood cutting or sawing by using a hand saw. In this video, you can see that our colleagues are trying to cut the timber by using a hand saw. Sand screening or sieving. It is used to separate sand from other materials or impurities using a sand screen or a sand sieve. Here in this video, we all, I and our colleague were trying to practice sand filtering or sand sieving you can say in the Ashraf yard at UAT Peshawar. Some additional and relatable pictures of the project. That was the end of our presentation of the mini project of building and construction. Thank you so much for watching.